there's an incredible number of magic spells in gemstone, and more are being developed as I speak. All ten professions have access to at least two spell circles. The training cost will vary. Over time, I'll be releasing multiple videos going over set blocks of these spells and demonstrating their use. This episode will show you what spell circles each profession has access to, how to cast spells, combat considerations, bard callouts, and spell message customization options. All square professions have access to minor spiritual. Rogues and warriors can train minor elemental, while monks are the only profession in game that can train minor mental at this time. Semis each have their own profession spell base. Paladins and rangers study minor spiritual, while bards focus on minor elemental. The four pure professions can learn from three circles each. Clerics and empaths are the only ones that can access the major spiritual circle. Wizards have major elemental that's unique to them, and sorcerers take the best of both worlds, dabbling in minor spiritual and minor elemental. In order to cast a certain spell, you'll need to use your goals to train up to that spell rank. For perspective, you're guaranteed a new spell each rank you train in a circle up through 20. Higher level spells require you to train the space between ranks. As example, there are no spells currently between ranks 21 and 24 of the cleric base, so if you want to learn a cleric's 25th level spell, you'll need to invest points beyond rank 20 to get up to 25. You'll need the Harness Power skill too, which increases your maximum mana points. To generally cast a spell, prep the spell number and cast at the target. My level 2 spell, Smite, is a CS-based spell. Casting at the rat shows the standard combat roll messaging. If the end result is over 100, it's a hit. You can channel some spells to do more damage while adding round time to the cast. All the spell pages in the wiki have detailed information on what training skills affect each spell and if a spell can be channeled or possibly evoked. An evoke example would be spell 903 for wizards, Miter Water. If you have 20 elemental lore fire ranks, you can evoke spell 903 to cast the effect of Minor Steam. Customization options like this allow you to create unique builds for whatever type of persona you want to roleplay as. We showed you the CS type of spell, but there's other types as well. Aim spells require you to train the spell aiming skill. All pure classes, especially wizards, will benefit from spell aiming at some point in time in their career. A cleric, for example, has spell 306 Holy Bolt. If you cast this without spell aiming, it won't do much good for combat. Now that we've maxed spell aiming for our level, we also need to make sure we are in offensive stance, similar to a melee class when swinging a weapon. A magic caster may be very vulnerable during this brief time, so be sure to go back to guarded or defensive after you cast. This spell works similar to the wizard spell Minor Water if you cast it on a living creature. Take this to an undead creature though and look out for back melting holy water action. Oh, and try casting this at another player from defensive stance in a non-sanctuary? At least one of you will giggle. Wizards can do something similar with spell 901 Minor Shock and possibly another. The other type of spell is a standard maneuver roll. Spell 309 Condemn is an example that uses your cleric spell ranks and spell aiming for success. There's an initial cast where damage can occur and then cycles that follow. You can evoke it to use a more powerful version if you built up enough charges by killing creatures with the spell. Current and future bard friends, this next section is for you. Just a couple callouts. Many of your bard base spells are songs, so instead of casting them, you will sing at your target instead. From a role-playing perspective, when a bard song is active, you're actually singing it. You'll need to maintain enough mana to keep it active, and it renews every so often. Typing song status will show you what songs you're currently singing, an estimation on when they renew, and how much mana the renew is going to cost. You can always stop a spell number to reduce the cost of your renewal. Using Renew All will refresh active songs. 
There are Lich scripts available, such as Song Manager, which will handle your upkeep for you after you configure it how you like, with semicolon song-manager set up. So, tons of information so far. We'll wrap up with spell customization options. Each spell circle has a unique message for the way it can be prepared. You can change the default options with spell prep tokens you get from other players, various festivals, or pay events. I'm using the general term token. They aren't always called that. They could be scrolls or other various item names. Once you get your token, you can analyze it or read it to see more information. Either the verb redeem or invoke will activate the item. Sometimes you'll have to try both verbs. But take note, the first time you try a command that works, it gives you a warning saying repeat the command within 30 seconds to learn the item. Since Jara the Empath can't possibly ever learn implosion, I'll save this for my sorcerer character. Typing prep phrase will show you the prep phrases you have collected. You can move the order around as needed to trap certain spells as you wish. For example, I trap the prep mana bread first which overrides the default major spiritual messaging. I trap all my specific spells first, then minor spirit spells, and finally my number 6 is my default prep messaging. If you still want more, a few spells can have custom effects. Fire Spirit, for example, can be modified to create a different kind of firework in the air. You can have custom food items with mana bread. I make pumpkin spice muffins with maple cream frosting. These food variations offer unique lick, eat, and gobble messaging. A major sanctuary can be customized to be different rooms. There's default messaging, one for your conversion, and special customization options. I learned a new command making this video, Spell Messaging, which shows your custom effects for certain spells. I'm incredibly excited because a recent game enhancement now lets you have multiple mana breads and custom major sanctuaries. Just use the verb custom to see your options. Sharp-eyed fans will see custom death messages too. You can change so many elements of your gameplay. As a text-based multiplayer RPG, Gemstone 4 can really offer endless customization possibilities. I hope to see you with custom waggles in Elenthia. Have a magical day.